being very understanding there. This, of course, is the day after Christmas, and we certainly hope that you had a wonderful day with your holiday or with your family yesterday. But people are now, well, probably not spending quite that much family time. They're hitting the malls with their gift cards in hand. The stores opened early today, and they're offering some big discounts to get people in the door. Presumably, the same people that were in the doors like before Christmas. And Jennifer Lukey joins us live now from Colony Center with more. And uh, is it busy, Jen? Yeah, Liz, it's definitely been picking up over the hours that we've been here. A lot of stores opened 5, 6 o'clock this morning. They lost a lot of business this year to online retailers, and then we saw this UPS fiasco. So they're hoping that people realize the importance of actually coming to the store to spend. A lot of the emails I got about sales that were happening today said, you know, it's 75% if you come in store, it's 50 or 60% if you buy online because the big box retailers in their brick and mortar stores are trying to get people back. It's been an okay Christmas season for them, but it hasn't been one of their best by any means. So they're hoping that these big discounts today and over the weekend will lure people back in. You've got those gift cards. You've got um, maybe a return to make. And a lot of times when you return something with a gift receipt, you realize it's more money then than it is now because it's on sale. So you can almost double your purchase in some cases. A lot of people also looking to stock up for next year. This was our first time actually coming up to Albany to the Christmas tree store. I've usually gone more south, and it was great because everybody's nice. It's not, and nobody's pushing. It's not crazy after Christmas shopping, and I strictly come out for tins and cellophane and wrapping paper. That's, and it looks like you hit the jackpot. I did. I did, and they had some really great stuff left. We're hearing that from a lot of folks. A lot of great stuff left, whether it's holiday stuff you're looking to stash away for next year or items that you just want to buy for now with your gift cards. Also, one thing to note is a lot of the stores this year, a lot of those electronic stores have very specific return policies. You have to get back any returns by probably the first two weeks of January. So you want to make sure that if there's something you're not in love with and you don't want to come out today, to just keep an eye on those return policies. And of course, we'll have much more on all of this coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. Liz, back to you studio. All right. Uh, don't do too much shopping now. <laughs> I know you always send me out here on all these shopping days and I, I have to talk to everybody else about what they're buying. <laughs> Clearly we wanted the expert to handle this story. That's why. <laughs> exactly. All right. Now I'm going to take my lunch break and do a little shopping. List. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a good time. All right. Thanks, Jen. And uh, she'll be keeping an eye on the shopping for us. And I guess maybe some of the discounts as well.